students in last lecture we have already studied practice set 50 all questions from question number 1 now we'll continue with the practice set 50 question number 2 here question is there which of the options given below is the square of the binomial x minus 1 upon x so what i'll do students here i'll find uh, square of x minus 1 upon x here when you will see students uh, i'll write here you know a minus b whole square a minus b whole square you know students we'll write the same formula a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to use this formula students here in this formula instead of a instead of a we will use 8 and instead of b we'll use 1 upon x i'll repeat again students i'll repeat again here instead of a i'm going to use 8 and instead of b i'm going to use 1 upon x now now what will we do students here i'm substituting the value here when i'll substitute the value here students just a second i'll uh, use another color here a instead of a i'm writing 8 instead of b i'm writing 1 upon x now here square as it is is equal to now instead of a i'll write 8 instead of a i'm writing 8 2 as it is here in between you will put multiplication sign and b instead of b we will put the value 1 upon x so here we are just substituting the value instead of b we are writing 1 upon x whole square so as now when we will solve here here a square is there so what should be there here 8 square should be there students now tell me 8 square 8 into 8 how much students 8 into 8 64 8 into 8 64 so here i'll write 8 square is equal to 64 minus here students 2 8s are 16 16 1s are 16 so in numerator we'll get 16 and upon x twin 16 upon x plus here 1 upon x square twin that means 1 square is there and x square is also there so here twins 1 square is how much 1 square is 1 only 1 square is 1 and here x square will become x square i'll write x square here twins so here we are having uh, just a second twins i'll make this x little proper this is not looking proper now here we are having answer 64 minus 1 upon uh, well, sorry minus 16 upon x plus 1 upon x square this is the answer students let's check which option is there you can see students which option is there yeah you are right students it is third option it is third option 64 minus 16 upon x plus 1 upon x square so this is the answer students this is the answer for the question i hope you must have understood students uh, you will take screenshot you will take screenshot you will not waste time in writing students you will not waste time in writing you will take screenshot uh, you will uh, write it later students you will write it later now we'll move ahead when we'll move ahead students here we are having next question question number three i'll just start with the question number three students here in question number three uh, of which the binomial given below m square n square plus 14 m n p q plus 49 p square q square the expansion so here we have to find for which expansion we are going to get this answer students for which expansion we are going to get this answer students so let's see let's solve students we'll start uh, with the solution uh, here students uh, when you will see we are having I'll just write the question first. I'll write the statement of the question. Here we are having m square n square plus 14 m n p q plus 49 p square q square. Students, I'll not discuss about the middle term. I'll focus on the last first and last term, students. I'll focus on first and last term and i'll try to find it out students is equal to we can write m square n square can be written as m n whole square m n whole square we can write students now i'll leave some place for middle term i'll just write the last term now 
49 is a square of 7 square students. 49 is a square of 7. So here we can write 7 square instead of 49. Uh, okay, 7 square. Here P square is there, Q square is there. So we can write whole together 7, 7, P, Q, whole square students. Whole square. Now 7 square is 49. P square is P square. Q square is Q square. So we are having last term 7PQ whole square. Now students, suppose this is the formula of A, A plus B whole square. Here A square is there. Here B square is there. What should be the middle term? Middle term should be 2AB, right? So here I am writing 2A, MN and B, 7PQ. 7PQ. When you will multiply, see, 2, 7, the 14, MN, PQ. You will get the same answer, students. So here, so here, it is nothing but, it is nothing but the square of MN. Uh, just a second, students. Okay, don't worry. You don't worry. Uh, it will, uh, students, if you are not understanding, no need to be worried. Uh, it will be repeated, students, for you. It will be repeated for you. So here, uh, sorry, students, we will move ahead. Here we are having mn plus 7pq whole square is the answer students. Here a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. I'll repeat it students. I'll repeat it for you. You will be able to check it. I'll just uh, use highlighter now. Uh, here just a second students. Now you will pay attention. Here students I have written this whole expression as it is students you can see it whole expression is written as it is now what i'll do students here m m square is there n square is there both square is there instead of writing both square i'll write together m and whole square m n whole square now i'll leave middle term i'll leave middle term i'll not talk about middle term right now i'll focus on last term now last term is 49 49 is nothing but a square of 7 and p square is there q square is there so all together i'll write 7 pq whole square you can open and check students when you will open and check you will come to know 7 square is 49 p square is p square q square is q square so till here i hope you must have understood now students will talk about middle term students suppose there is a formula see this is prediction only this is prediction only uh, and what i'll predict that the a square is there and at the end b square is there. So in between what should be there? 2ab should be there. So what I'll do, I'll first write, I'll first write 2a and then b. And then now I'll check whether this is right or wrong. Let's check students, let's check. When we'll check, we'll come to know 2 7 the 14, right? Mn, right? Pq, right? So that means we have done right here. So this is right students. So now we got... Uh, here answer now what I will do students this is nothing but a square plus 2 a b plus b square so we can directly write a plus b whole square so this is this answer this expression which we have written over here is the expansion of this mn plus 7 pq students mn plus 7 pq so our answer is the fourth option students fourth option is the answer and uh, it is mn plus 7 pq i hope you must have understood students so this is your solution this is your answer uh, if if there is any doubt you will able to see it i'm going to upload it on uh, youtube you will able to see this video again is it clear students you will able to revise it uh, two three times if you want to see yeah yes okay so i hope you must have understood uh, now let's move. We'll go to the next one. The, yeah, I'll uh, I'll upload it. It is second one is done, students. Uh, we have done second. Now it will be uploaded. Uh, this video, which we uh, the lecture which is going on right now, it is going to be uploaded on YouTube. You will be able to see it. So we'll not revise second one. First you will see and you will check whether you can do or not. And then you will be able to ask me. Let's uh, move ahead. We'll go to the fourth question, students. Now, when we go to the fourth question, use an expansion formula to find the values. Here, 997 whole square is there. 997 whole square is there. We have to find the square. 
Now what will we do, students? We'll convert it in the nearest hundred or thousand. See, it is three-digit number, so it is near to what, students? It is near to the thousand, students, right? So what I'll write? I'll write it thousand minus three. Thousand minus three is nothing but nine ninety-seven, right, students? Am I right? Do you understand? Yeah, very good. Now here, students, what we'll do? Here I'll write one thousand. I'll write one thousand. Minus three whole square. Three whole square. See, thousand minus three is nothing but nine ninety seven only. Students, why have I uh, done this? Because thousand square it is easy to find. A uh, three square is it? It is easy to find. But when we will talk about nine ninety seven, it is difficult to multiply. Here, here what we will do? See, nine ninety seven is there. Nine ninety seven is there. Instead of nine ninety seven, what I'll do? I'll write. I'll write thousand minus three. Thousand minus three is nothing but nine ninety seven only, students. Thousand minus three is nothing but nine ninety seven only. Now let's continue, students. Let's continue. And just a second, students. Here, a minus b whole square formula. You know, a minus b whole square is equal to c. A minus b whole square is equal to a square minus two ab. Plus b square, right? So in the same way, here what I'll do? Uh, instead of a, I'll take thousand now. Instead of a, I'll take thousand. See, thousand is taken. Instead of b, I'll take three square. See, instead of thousand, a thousand square minus two. Instead of a thousand, b, I'll take three plus b. Instead of b, I'll take three square squares. I hope you must have understood this. Let's move ahead. We'll get equal to thousand square swings. Three zeros are there. We'll get six zeros. We'll get six zeros. When we will do square of ten thousand, it will uh, it is having three zeros. It will become six zeros when you will uh, take square minus. Now three to the what thousand into thousand. When you will multiply, please listen to me. Thousand into thousand. When you will multiply, you will get see like this. You will get answer swings three and three six zeros. You will get. Is it clear to you swings? You will get ten like swings. You can multiply and check. I know that you all know how to multiply. If you have problem, you can multiply and check. You will get the same answer. Now here, when you will multiply, don't tell the final answer, students. You just pay attention. Uh, we'll go step by step, students. We'll go step by step. Here, two threes are six. Six into thousand, we'll get six thousand, students. We'll get six thousand. I'll write here six thousand um, plus three square. Three square is nine, students. Three square is nine. I'll write nine over here, students. Now, now what I'll do, students? Here. You will solve and you will get. Uh, you will try to find out the answer, students. You will try to find out the answer. Here, see six zeros. You can count. See three, three six zeros minus six thousand. Students, I'll write here six thousand. You can see six thousand minus. I will do. Then I will subtract. What will be the answer? See zero, 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 zero minus zero, zero. Zero minus zero zero. See here. Here it will become nine, nine, and here it will become ten. Ten minus six will get four, and here ninety nine thousand four. Sorry, nine lakh ninety four thousand will get nine lakh ninety four thousand plus nine. It will come nine over here, students. So here our answer is going to be nine lakh ninety four thousand nine. Nine lakh ninety four thousand nine. I'll just rub it and I'll write the answer. Swings nine lakh nine lakh how it, where is eight hundred? I could not see eight hundred. I could not. See. It is not eight. It is thousand. It is thousand. A value is thousand. Uh, you are not listening uh, properly, students. Here, it is thousand, not eight uh, hundred. So here we are getting nine thousand nine uh, ninety nine lakh ninety four thousand and nine students. 
this is your answer this is how you will do expansion of uh, the given number uh, let us continue with the next sum uh, you will first copy this uh, don't copy students take screenshot uh, when you will sit to copy it will take a lot of time so better you will take screenshot students and let us move to the next question when we will move to the next one here we are having 102 square students 102 square so i'll just rub this I'll just rub this students and then we'll solve the second sum in a same way students. Here when you will talk about 102, 102 can be written as 100 plus 2, right? Students, are you getting what I'm saying? 102 can be written as 100 plus 2. See, one, see first I'll, I'm writing formula here. Uh, Wait, uh, 100 and 2 square, 100 and 2 square can be written as 100 plus 2 square. This is the first you will write, students. Now you know formula. Uh, what is A plus B formula here, students? A plus B square is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. This formula you will remember, students. You will remember this formula. Now here, instead of 102, I will write 100 plus 2. So A value is 100 and B value is a value is, I am repeating again, otherwise uh, you will get confused, please don't get confused, 100 and 2, A and B. So instead of A, I am writing 100 and instead of B, I am writing 2. So see here students, 100 plus 2 square is equal to, uh, just a second students, just a second, yeah, 100 plus 2 uh, square is equal to, we will get here, 100 square, A square, see students, instead of A, I am writing A value 100, plus C2, I will write as it is, instead of A, I will put 100, instead of B, I will put 2 into 2, plus, plus B square, B, instead of B, I will put the value 2 square students, so here when we will solve, we will get is equal to, 100 square. How much students? 100 square is? See, two zeros are there. It will become four zeros. Simple students. Two zeros are there. You will write four zeros. Plus, see here. Two into two, four into 100, 400. You will get 400 students. So, I am writing here 400. Plus, see, this two square is how much students? Four. So, we will write four here students. Now, when you will add... When you will add, you will get 1, 0. See here, instead of 3 zeros, we will get 404. 404 swims. Are you getting this? 404. This is your answer swim. I will repeat again how 0 plus 0, 0 plus 4. You will get 4 swims. 0 plus 0, 0. Here nothing left. We will write 0. We will write 0. So now 0 plus 4 will get 4. And remaining... Remaining 10 is as it is. 10 is as it is. So this is how you will add and you will get the answer 10404 here students. I hope you must have understood this. If there is doubt you can ask me students. You can ask me. Uh, so in the same way students I will suggest you you will do this as a homework. Uh, will you able to do students? 